Hi there. Now for this part of the question, part B, I've just summarized the question here. But we're essentially told to draw a box plot for this data here. And the quartiles and medians are given in this table here. But we're also told about outliers. So you might like to uh, just pause the video if you haven't had a chance to read this question. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we're told about outliers here and first of all we're going to need to work out what those outliers are going to be. And if we look at say the upper outlier first of all, let's just put an intro in here, upper outlier, then we're told it's one and a half times the difference between the upper quartile and lower quartile above Q3. So we've got to add this value on to Q3. So Q3, we're told, is 55. So it's 55 plus one and a half times the difference between the upper quartile and lower quartile. So that's going to be 55 minus 31. So 55 minus 31. And if you work this out, you'll find that you get 91. So we'll come back to that shortly. Next, I'm going to look at the lower outlier. So we'll just put an intro there and we'll just talk about the lower outlier. And for this one, it's... 1.5 times the upper quartile minus the lower quartile below Q1. So we start off with Q1 at 31 and from this we subtract one and a half times the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. And working this out you end up with minus 5. So when it comes to drawing the box plot it's going to look something like this and I'll run through it with you. Make sure that you've got a scale here. I've selected from 20 to 100 purely because the lowest value is 25 and the highest value is 99. So this scale adequately covers this range here. Then what I'm looking at is the upper outlier which is 91 and I can see that we have just got the value of 99, which is above that upper outlier. So I've marked in that value, 99 with a cross, and the upper outlier is now 91 marked here. If there are other values greater than 91, then I would mark other crosses here. So then this marks off then our upper outlier. Now, I can't mark in the lower outlier as being negative 5. It's just not practical because we're talking about uh, a sample of homeowners. Okay, So it's got to be a positive integer. So we haven't got any number that is negative. So we can neglect this. So our lowest value here is going to represent the 25 that you see here. Then this value is the lower quartile, okay, which is at 31. Then you've got the median, which is at 39. And you've got the upper quartile, which is at 55. Okay. And your diagram, your box plot should look something like that. Okay.